This is a quick toolbox talk. Um, we've got an oil leak. You guys that watched us fit the winch bumper mount previously, you would have noticed on the left hand side as you look at the vehicle, um, a lot of oil that had been sticking and flying around there on the left hand side at the bottom of the intercooler and radiator. So I washed it all off and um, identified it as coming from the um, power steering uh, radiator. So it's only a little one, just a little loop really that runs across the front. So I've got to change that out today. So first thing, take off the plastic radiator grill. There's four Torx screws in there. And that's four T20 Torx. So you'll need some form of a Torx socket here, and it's the T20. So there it is, and it's up that end where it's leaking. If you, there we go. Now. Put your fingers under there. You can see lots of fresh fluid. So this is connected to the power steering pump. You can't really see it, but basically the power steering pump's just on the other side, uh, and it's got two pipes, an inlet and an outlet. So you just undo those, take this off, put the new one on, stick the pipes on, tighten it up. Here's what the new one looks like. And there's the two connections in and out. Right, that's that changed. Uh, once you've changed it, of course, you need to put more um, hydraulic fluid into the reservoir because there will be a lot still in the old pipe, the old um, radiator. So I use a Miller oils and it's uh, the Millomatic and that's for the, I use this for my automatic gearbox but you can use it for this as well. I'm also using a funnel which has got a pipe connected to it which is going straight into there. It's just so much easier than messing around. Now incidentally another symptom of this is a very noisy um, steering pump and you can mistake that for you can mistake that noise for um, a warm pulley bearing. Now thankfully mine wasn't a pulley bearing because that would be a much bigger job. Firstly you've got to identify which pulley it, bearing it is and then you've got to swap it out and change it and some of them are really difficult to get to so if you get a cranky noisy engine it like starts rattling and making a nasty noise and it gets progressively worse that's because the first thing you want to do is check the level of your hydraulic fluid in your steering pump check that first, top it up and if the noise goes you can buy me a drink So uh, I'd, I'd allow about an hour for this job um, on a rating of um, skin from knuckles I'd give it a 6 or 7 because it's quite awkward getting in there um, but hey these jobs must be done. Thanks for watching and I hope that was useful to you. Thanks guys.